All right, now we're going to go to factoring by grouping, which is 6 6 on skills practice 16. And this kind of question is easy to recognize because, well, look, now we have instead of three terms or two terms, like we had with difference of squares, two terms, trinomial squares, three terms, we have four terms. And the best way to group things is to take the terms that are similar to each other, group them, and then factor those terms or isolate those terms on their own. So in this case, y cubed minus y. Well, we have a y in common, right? So what we'll do is we'll add these brackets around here, right? And over here, we'll put brackets around there because 3y squared minus 3 has 3 in common. So then we go ahead and factor them as we've done before with factoring out your common factor. This is going to be y and y squared minus 1, right? Why? Because if we divide both sides, if we divide by y, we divide by y, you get y squared minus 1 left over. 3y squared minus 3, divide by 3, and divide by 3, uh, we end up with y squared minus 3. So we end up with our plus 3 over here, and our y squared minus 3. So, or some minus 1, I'm sorry, y squared minus 1. Because the FOIL method says, you know, when we distribute the 3 back onto here, it should equal that. 3 times y squared is 3y squared. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So now that we've got that, we notice that this here is the same as that there. That is where our grouping method comes in. We have that there. Then what we really are doing is essentially finding a common factor, which we will write. y squared minus 1 is now the common factor. And what's left over is y plus 3. Because y squared times y, if we write this y, y squared minus 1 times y will be this part, and plus 3 here. 3 times y squared minus 1 will give us that part. And we're done, except for the fact that I notice that we're not done until everything's factored in full. And we notice that, guess what this is? It's a binomial, two terms with a minus sign and a perfect square on both terms. So it's called difference of squares y minus 1, y plus 1, um, on to y plus 3. And that's our final answer. So hopefully that makes sense. We'll do another one just to help out. y plus 1, y minus 1, on to y plus 3. And again, we'll just recap it. You started with y cubed minus y, and you noticed that if we group that, we could take out y and end up with y onto y squared minus 1. Same thing over here. We've got 3y squared minus 3. We can group that together because 3 is in common. We divide both of them by 3. We get 3 under y squared minus 1. Now we notice y squared minus 1 is a common factor. We pull that out, y squared minus 1, and we're left with y plus 3. If we multiply y squared onto y, we got y into y squared minus 1. y squared minus 1 onto 3. We've got 3 under y squared minus 1. And now the last but not least thing is we're always aware of the fact that we can always factor further, and we recognize this is difference of squares y plus 1, y minus 1, uh, and then on to the y plus 3 that was there. So let's look at another question. That was number 30. Let's try number 36 on your sheets. This is n cubed minus 2n squared plus 4n minus 8. n cubed plus 2n squared. N, n cubed minus 2n squared plus 4n minus 8. Again, grouping-wise, we have our n, so we'll put those in brackets. And we also have 4n minus 8, which is a dead giveaway uh, because 4 goes into 8. n is in common, so we'll divide both of these by, actually, n squared is in common, so we'll take out n squared. Um, and we've got n squared on the outside. Uh, inside, we've got n minus 2, because n squared times n is equal to n cubed, and n squared on the negative 2 is negative 2 n squared. And over here, we take out 4, we're left with n minus 2, and lo and behold, there it is. Usually these pop right out and it works just nicely. n minus 2 is in common, so we'll write that over here, n minus 2, and n squared plus 4 is left over. That is our final answer. Is there anything else we can factor here? Well, is that, is that not the difference of squares? We have a perfect square there and there, it's a binomial. What's missing? Why can't we write that as difference of squares like we did in the last problem? Because this is a plus sign. This is not difference of squares if it's a sum. It's a sum of squares. 
Can't do it with a plus sign. It's only when there's a minus sign. So that's our final answer. Factoring by grouping is pretty easy, although it gets tricky when you have a negative sign. So we'll do number 34 now because number 34 is actually uh, one of those tricky questions with the minus sign. So we've got c cubed plus 3c squared minus 9c minus 27. And we, you know, go ahead and group it. It's looking pretty good. Now the only difference is we notice there's a minus sign. That's starting to look a little tricky. But on this side, we're pretty straightforward with by pulling out c squared right here. We've got uh, c squared onto c plus 3. And then over here, we've got 9 in common with those. So we'll pull out the negative 9. Okay, we're going to divide by negative 9 right here and there. And we're going to end up with uh, c plus 3. Okay, because you take out your negative 9, negative 9 divided, negative 9 c divided by negative 9 is equal to c, and negative 27 divided by negative 9 is positive 3. We end up with c plus 3 and c plus 3. Now we go ahead and see what's left over, c squared minus 9, c squared minus 9, and c plus 3, and we're done. Oh, no we're not. You, I can tell you we're thinking already ahead of me. c squared minus 9 can be factored because it's a difference of squares. And that's c plus 3, c minus 3, on to c plus 3. Now, that's interesting because that c plus 3 and that c plus 3 are the same. So we can write that just to simplify it, make it even easier. c plus 3 squared on to c minus 3 is our final answer. I would probably accept that in the test. Um, but this just makes it a little nicer. It looks a little nicer. Because the c plus 3 happens twice, we put c plus 3 squared. But basically, the main thing that we recognize is this negative number here, you divided that out. You've got, you put your brackets around the negative, and then we've got to take negative 9 out of both. And that negative 9 there means we have c plus 3 left over. That's difference of squares. It factors out. You recognize there's two c plus 3s, so you put c plus 3 squared onto c minus 3. That's number 34 of your skills practice 16. Thank you.